Hi guys, my name is Nishi Jain. I'm based in Mumbai and I'm currently working as an editor with Trapano One. Early this year, I had visited my hometown in Rajasthan with my family and while returning back, we thought of taking a detour to Udaipur. So I would like to share a couple of uh, my experiences, the places that I had visited, the food that I had in Udaipur. If you wish to see a bird's eye view of the entire city, you can visit Sajjangar Fort, also known as Mansoon Palace or you can also visit City Palace. At City Palace, it is not just about the city view, but you can also go um, check out the beautiful Lake Pachola and Jag Mandir, um, and also learn about the city's history, about the palace history, and all the uh, former rulers of the airport. After that, you can check out the quaint cafes at Gangor Ghat, and also visit Bagor Ki Haveli, which is right behind it. If you are coming here, then the best time would be somewhere around evening so that you can also attend the Dharohar show. It's basically a, a folk dance and a puppet show, but it's highly recommended and um, it's held every day between 7 and 8 p.m. If you like green spaces, um, do visit uh, Sahelio Ki Bari. Uh, it's basically a garden with a beautiful fountain and um, there are different spaces and there's beautiful lighting so you can click a lot of pictures. As for the food, uh, Rajasthan is really famous for gatte ki sabzi, ker sangri, dal bati churma and if you're a vegetarian, I would suggest do visit Bavarchi restaurant. And if you have a sweet tooth, then, um, I would say do try Churme ka laddu, bundi, malpua. And if you're visiting somewhere around Raksha Bandhan, um, maybe in the month of August, September, then do try Ghevar. If you're visiting Udaipur during winter season, then do try Kadhai Dood. It's basically flavored milk, which is boiled on a low temperature for a couple of hours. And so it um, has a thick layer of cream in it. And it just tastes amazing, especially when you're having it hot. So if you're like me, you know, um, who doesn't like to wait in queues, then I think the best time to visit Udaipur is in the month of Jan or latest by early Feb. Because you will literally find all the attractions. They have no crowd, no waiting, no queue. As for the transportation, so we were traveling in a personal car. But one thing I noticed is um, if you are coming in four-wheeler, um, the parking is just way too far from the major attraction. So you will have to hire an auto rickshaw from the parking spot to the um, all the major attractions. So it's better if you can um, rent a two-wheeler. So that's all from my end. I hope you enjoyed it.